we hopped off the plane at LAX with a dream and a cardigan. And we are here in LA right now getting ready to go have breakfast with my friend Leslie Adam Jr. who uh, is about to drop a new record next month. And so we're just here hanging out for the day, gonna listen to some of his stuff. Pretty pumped to be with this girl right here, Rice, my little twin daughter, which is kind of weird, but whatever. My name's Rice now. Steve-O and Rice, the adventures of Steve-O and Rice. That's what yeah. we're gonna call this vlog, probably. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe. So, I'm pumped. We're going to a place called Food, which is quite possibly the greatest name for a restaurant of all time. And I'm, I'm excited. So, let's we'll see how it goes. Bro, these shoes are amazing. Uh. <laughs> So this is your spot, huh? This is our spot. I love we were it. Here yesterday, we'll probably be here tomorrow. <laughs> I love it. They make good everything. Okay. All right. Lunch is good. Breakfast is good. Yeah. The... I, I always know a good breakfast place when they when they don't serve dinner. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For sure. That's how you know somebody's serious about their breakfast. Yeah. Yep. When. We only do breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, they, these you can't. They close at like six. Oh, that's perfect. Food closes man. by six. Dude, the album sounds so good, Thanks, man. man. How long did you work on that thing? Um, I mean, about three years. Wow. Uh, I don't want to, you know. The the honest truth of that is three years. Sure. But you know, we got serious about um, a year and a half ago. Right on. Yeah. Um, a year and a, so a year and a half of the three years was kind of yeah. like figuring out how we were gonna yeah. begin, you know, because I knew I wanted to do this yeah. um, original music. Yeah, man. Spend a lot of time singing other people's music, which has sure. um, done well for me. You know, I've been able to yeah. do well for myself singing um, songs that already existed. But both, I, I mean, both yeah. records you've got, but specifically Simply Christmas, just probably the best for this guy right here. Yeah, it's it's hands down my favorite Christmas record. So I mean, it's like we listen to it year round actually. <laughs> so, my wife has like two albums on her phone. So anytime the phone gets plugged into the car, Ave, has two. Ave Maria comes on. She only has two. <laughs> I'm on not her kidding mind. you. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She's so it's pretty it funny. She that's keeps it real. She She's keeping that space. She, she wants loves the space for pictures. Yes. Right? Not music. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. We were talking about on the way over here. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce myself. I'm gonna say, Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? And she was like, He's probably heard that a thousand <laughs> yeah. times. I'm so glad you. And I was, I was like, I'm so glad. Yeah, probably, yeah. You saved it. It, for it now. would have been, it would have been, you know, a little too much. I think. But, I mean, that's how I was introduced to you. Was Hamilton? I think. I think yeah. that's probably a lot most of people's people, story. Yeah, most people. Yeah. But man, like, uh, what a brilliant role you did in that. That sort of captured not only my heart, but like a, a, a ton of people's hearts. I mean, how many weeks was that number one on iTunes for forever and ever and ever, yeah, right? But long time. that just smooth, buttery voice, and you could hear it. I mean, I'd never seen the show until last year I saw it in Chicago, and you know, I can I can like imagine you just the way that you delivered your parts. Yeah. Like you can see the facial expressions, you can see the way you're. You know, and and I'm just like, man, this guy is a cut above. Like, it's brilliant, brilliant performance. So then, when I saw you were starting to release other music, I was yeah. so pumped. Oh, so, thanks, man. Um, and then I don't even know how how we met on Twitter. I guess it was on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was following you. And one day you followed me back, and I don't geek out about celebrities very uh, often, but I was like, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that was a good day, and uh, yeah, as that as that sort of thing started to grow, I mean, you know, because before Hamilton, I mean, yeah, it was, it, you know, really was like a that sort of ten year overnight sensation kind of thing, yeah. you know. Yeah. I was doing a lot of TV shows that nobody was watching. I'd, right. I'd grown accustomed to um, to flying under the radar, you know. Sure. So as as my following started to grow and and yeah, I geeked out about you, know, you and <laughs> yeah. plenty of people following me yeah. because it was like yeah, yeah as, as people discover who you right. are, it's just yeah. it's a, it's a trip. Okay, so.
So I need to figure out how Reese and I get a star here on the Walk of Fame. Because Snoopy has a star. And he's not even a real person or living creature. He's a, he's a cartoon who has been drawn. Now, don't get me out. wrong, he's awesome, but he's not real. Clearly someone agrees with me here because they took off, they took off the Shrek. They made a star for me. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, all right, all right. Huge Jackman. Oh my God, it's Barbara. Her voice is like butter. These guys are filming Matt Damon's star. And I'm wondering if Matt Damon is on that bus right there, maybe. Maybe we should ask this guy. Is Matt Damon on that bus right there? No? Maybe not? Okay. He was like, uh, no, he's not. If we say the same number, then, I have to do then it. you have to do it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, five. Ah, you still have to do it. <laughs> he looks like John Stamos. You made that guy's day. You probably made that guy's year. If anybody asks me if I'm John Stamos, that makes my life. Hey, I dare you to go ask this guy over here. No, no, no. Just ask him. He'll be so. He'll. It'll make his day forever. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'll go with you. Let's go. No, no, no. Let's go. But how am I gonna know what he says, or if you even say it? Okay. No, 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 that's the guy. That's so the guy. No? Oh, okay. I feel like that was... <laughs> he was probably watching us debate on that for like <laughs> he was like, five minutes. Wow, it took you guys three years to figure out that you should come ask me this. <laughs> racing against the clock because we're trying to head up to Griffith Observatory for sunset and uh, parking lot's full so we had to kind of drive a bit of a ways down park down at the bottom hike up to the top we didn't realize the sun sets like an hour earlier here than Texas so we're a little late but I think we're gonna be okay. We are up here at the Griffith Observatory and just enjoying kind of sunset and seeing all the good stuff and uh, starting to take some pictures of the city at night, which is pretty sweet. It's gorgeous, it feels so good, it's cool. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Snapdragon, did I pop a tire? No way! I'm a mile from the airport! He popped. <laughs> I gotta get this on camera, oh my gosh. Okay, let's go see the damage. Oh, wow. Well. That's a great title for the vlog. <laughs> we popped the tire. We're three minutes away. How are we gonna, um, we don't have a spare. We're literally three minutes away. We got the tire fixed. Now we're on our way to the airport. The Puerto, the airport. Yeah. Aeropuerto. 